Hello everyone, it's Daniel Pereira and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about how to set up Facebook ad campaigns for your opinion business if you're a complete beginner. So basically if you're someone looking to use Facebook ads for their opinion business to get more work and don't really know how to set up a basically a simple Facebook ad campaign, this video will do just that. I'm going to break it down with you step by step. Basically very simplified, simple, just very like just break it down, simplified so you can understand and so you can use it for yourself. It's pretty easy, it's pretty simple, but I know Facebook is very complicated when it comes to compared to Google. So what you can do for me is basically subscribe, like the video, push notification or anything, or comment below with any questions that too. Be very much appreciated, we'll push out the video to more people who also want to know how to use Facebook ads for their painting business or any type of business, but majority of Facebook uh, basic painting business because it's really tailored to that type of industry. So with that, now nah, basically, <laughs> furthermore, uh, let's, try, let's basically get right into it. So what we're gonna do now is just, I'm basically soon gonna swing it over to my laptop where I'm gonna basically screen share basically how to set up a quick uh, Facebook ad campaign for beginners. Basically what we're gonna do is just basically what to set up, what basically what to target, basically what pictures to use, what videos, creatives, copy, basically what's your offer. I'm gonna break it down for you and how to basically set it up basically the right way effectively because this is more of a simplified version. This is a very advanced, this is, uh, it can get very advanced Facebook you can do a lot of things but it's easier it's better to do a simple that's basically what I do basically I yes I I have a marketing company called newer digital we help painting businesses basically scale their marketing we scale their production to the business adding at least thirty to sixty thousand dollars in new monthly revenue in three months every month we use Facebook ads as the main driver it leads into your business it works wonders for us we get <laughs> consistently under twenty dollars cost per lead and I'm basically gonna show you one of our clients, ad manager, very discreet. I'm not gonna go right into it because I'm not gonna show you basically what we use to get them these uh, basically such great results because it's what keeps us secret and what keeps us better than all the other marketing companies that target painters. But basically what we're gonna do is I'm gonna basically take it step by step, go into Facebook ad manager and just basically set up a campaign with you. All right now, so we're now in the ad manager. I'm not able to really show my face because uh, um, Facebook ad manager just won't let me uh, show my face. So I'm just uh, sh uh, basically screen sharing my screen. So basically, this ad account right now is just uh, for my individual painting business that I'm starting up. I was just running a couple of uh, boosted posts. So I see this. This is not actual campaigns. So you don't really see your results. So so basically, what we're going to do to set up a quick beginner painting business campaign is just you're going to go over here and click create. And then it's going to load up this little pop up. We're going to choose your campaign objective, but of course, this campaign is going to be targeting for leads. Of course, if you want awareness or traffic or engagement onto your profile, is a different story. That's that's more when you basically start running boosted posts. Basically, any pictures or videos you basically run, you just run a boosted post on that. that. That'll do the job. You don't really have to go into this ad manager and set up this all complex campaign. You can just run a boosted post. But of course, we're going to be, uh, basically click on leads. So what we're going to do is just click basically continue. Then you're going to have this now interface or this basically new look. Basically, basically on this left hand side, this is your campaign level, this is your ad set level, and this is your ad level. Basically for the campaign, you name it whatever, it's just depending on you. We're just gonna name it, um, let's say exterior uh, campaign, if I can spell it right. Exterior, exterior ad. Then special ad categories, it's none because it's only credit, employment, housing, or social issues. You don't have to worry about uh, clicking on this because you're not doing credit cards. It's not housing. That's for real estate license or mortgages, homeowners, owners insurance, all that stuff. Employment. If you ever want to run employment ads on basically Facebook, basically it's either employees or subcontractors. You're able to do it, but you have to click on the employment uh, category to do so. So with that, so all you're going to do is name the ad, name the campaign if you want, do whatever. Then we're going to leave this and we're going to leave AB split test. AB split test is just if you want to do it. But this is just a beginner. It's very simple. You know, there's no need to complex testing. It's just, is to do, it'll just do the, it'll do the enough. It's just the basic and it'll give you smooth results and consistent. Then now, as we go down to the ad set level, again, you name it whatever you want. Uh, you can do, let's say, we can say men ad set or women ad set. We'll do woman ad set. Then this, this conversion is what you basically uh, now pick to which one you want to do. Basically, the easier one is messenger. Uh, you can you probably see all over Facebook and Instagram a lot of people are doing running messenger campaigns for a reason it does it does the job it's not complex it basically when you click on messenger basically what the person who sees the ad all they got to do is click on send a message and they basically are prompted to a messenger or Instagram DM basically asking you basically for a quote 
or Insta Forms and Messenger, just whatever one you want to run these website, Insta Forms or Instagram, Instagram chat. It's it depends. You have to have like a software to collect these type of leads, like website Insta forms. If you have a website and you get sent it to a particular funnel or a page, that's a contact form. Then you can collect that collect those leads. That's fine, but you have to set up pixels and all that. And again, that that's complex. But this is a simple, basically a beginner version. So we're gonna make it as simple as possible. All you need is Messenger. If you want to do the instant forms and website and get more complicated, then do so. Or we're gonna do simple beginner. Just do Messenger. It does the job. Then you're gonna go down, select a uh, Facebook page. You can have a Facebook page and an Instagram page. Hopefully, both connected to your basic business manager. That's all in the setup. Of course, if you don't understand, if you don't have that business manager ad manager setup, just search it up on YouTube. I do not have that uh, video. I the videos that will not explain it. So you'll select your basic your Facebook page and just uh, click it. Sure side painting. Um, then what you'll do is your daily budget. As a marketing company myself, I recommend my, basically recommend my clients at least twenty dollars USD. Just twenty bucks a day will do enough. It'll probably it'll get you a lead, a lead two leads every day, probably a lead every other day. But it will do enough for the price you're paying because it's re I like it much better. It's better than like going to lead buying sites, Home Advisor, Yellow Pages. The uh, I've been as a painting business owner now myself. I search. For, there's people I don't like them, but I want to know their price. And also contractors that told me, penny contractors said it, that the leads are up to sixty to one hundred twenty dollars. So like you can get very cheap leads with this uh, type of campaign, messenger campaign. There's some days you can get we average around eighteen uh, cost per lead with this messenger campaign. It's it's very 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 effective. But that's also with our little tips and stuff and our little tricks and knowledge and skills we use. But this is a beginner version, like I said. So daily budgets, how much you want to put as a daily budget, I say recommend 20 to start out with. If you want to go 50, 50 a day, you want to spend 50 a day, go for it. But because you probably have a brand new ad manager, uh, don't spend too fast. Because what that is going to do, Facebook will probably flag it and basically ban your account. And that is a headache to get out of. So just start with 20, 25, or 50. Just between 20 and 50, start with that. And that'll be enough for now. I do say start with 20 if you're really a uh, beginner. If you don't have the budget to spend a lot of marketing, uh, on marketing because 20 a day is uh, $600, uh, $600 a month. That should not be too much, but it's still, it's going to, it's going to do the work. It's not going to bring you a stellar result, but it's going to do enough to basically promptly at least get you with the type of results we get, or we have experienced at least uh, two jobs, a job to two jobs a week, basically bare minimum with these as long as, as soon as basically Facebook optimized because I'm going to explain that later. So as, as we go down, don't worry about this. Of course, you can schedule start day to the next day. I recommend if, because today, what, this time is 435 on Monday. If I, um, if I press launch, what Facebook's going to do with this budget, they're going to try to spend as much as possible in this day because it's a twenty dollars budget. So if I launch and it gets approved by I say uh, five thirty, it's gonna try to spend as much as twenty dollars as possible by the day. So the best thing to do is whoever the next day is, just select. So it'll be for me, it'll be twenty five. Uh, then trying to do twelve oh oh a.m. So it starts on midnight. Of course, Facebook will not spend a lot of your budget throughout that morning. It won't. It won't. It's just just start it the next day. That's all. Then what we're going to do is come down to here. Again, we're making this simple. So there's no need to do a uh, audience. There's no need to do look alike audience. So this gets very complicated. And there's no need. All you got to do is um, put a location. Let's let's do um, lo location. We can do let's do um, let's do Las Vegas. Because Las Vegas is a very hot topic in uh, in this industry, real estate and all that. Las Vegas Valley, or you can do, you can do Orlando. Orlando, Florida, basically the, now you basically, this is the radius. You pick your radius, how far you can service from Orlando. Is it 25 miles? You can go up to 50 miles, but 50 miles is massive. You're basically going to Tampa, near Tampa in here. Was that Palmito Bay? No, Palm Bay. Sorry. So like, yeah, of course, depending on your radius, that would be depending on how big you put this. So we're just going to keep at 25 because that's pretty normal. A lot of people can't really go farther than that unless you are a very big company, but then you won't really be worrying about trying to set up a beginner campaign. You're probably having a company like me do it for you. But the age, not 18, of course, because you're trying to look for generate leads from people who have, have houses or live in places that need to be painted. So there's no, no need to spend your ad budget on 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and so forth. The earliest age is 28. Of course, there's people who's 25 who do it. 
who probably you probably get some leads from 25 but 28 is the lowest number you can do and don't go over 65 don't do 65 because you don't 65 plus because you don't want facebook to waste your ad budget on very elder people not saying they don't need paint shops it's just it's just trying to make your most effective dollars work it's just keeping between this area and you know, basically age ranges 28 60. Well, Google basically beats on this on Facebook, even though I'm a very big Facebook advocate when it comes to ads for painting businesses. So Facebook, again, you pay for the click and also you don't have to worry about age because it's people actively searching for these, uh, basically your services. So you don't have to worry about 18 year olds basically searching unless they're, again, trying to scout you out. So you don't have to worry about basically for marketing companies, but for Facebook, it's 28 to 60. If you're running Google ads, that would pick up from the rest. But 28 to 60, because you don't want to, again, run, waste your budget on uh, ages that really won't convert. So you want to put all your budget to the ages that will convert. So that's 28 to 60. Of course, if you want to do younger, do younger. But this is what I recommend is 28 to 60. This is what we also seen work the most. Genders is a interest, interesting one because uh, some of the times women do great. Some of the times men do great. Our past experience is that men, for some reason, perform better on YouTube metrics. We get majority of leads from men barely compared to women, even though women um, should be the ones kind of going on leads of AC asking for this type of services, even though it's, it is um, a dual, if they're, if they're married, it is like a dual thing, uh, husband and wife. But for some reason, men are, for, yeah, like I said, for some reason, men is giving us the best statistics, but it also depends on the audience sizes you have right here. If it's between this uh, large range, women, you can pick women. See, that's that's far enough. You can probably pick a woman or men, or you can do both. What you can do is just um, I'll do I'll do it after I finish this. Is do men and women and test it for basically for your service area, and basically how you set up the ad. And I'm going to show you the beginner way, and then see after you run it for a week or two, what are the data? How does how good are the results? And if men performs better than women, to put all your ad budget to women and uh, to men because there's no need to spend money on. Um, something that doesn't work of course if they're very similar or one is a little bit better just keep both running because of course capitalize on both genders but if one is significantly better then there's no point of running into the other gender because normally women does do better but in my experience is men has done better so it's just whoever you basically whatever marketing company you do or you talk to will say something different but for this we're gonna come down to basically manual, manual placement basically where your ads will be shown you're gonna basically turn off audience network and messenger keep facebook and instagram and what you're going to do, you're going to just deselect basically majority of all this. You're going to basically take off stories and reels unless you have a video ad, but we're going to just go off uh, just regular pictures. Then Facebook feed, Instagram feed is fine. Marketplace, take it off. Video feeds, take it off. This is fine. This is fine. No, take that off, actually. Sorry. One, two, three, four, three. Story and reels, take this off. This is good. No, this is not good. This is good. Search results is good. And there's actually a couple more. Yeah, Instagram profile feed. I don't know why that's off, but yeah, this this could work. Yeah, this is kind of all you need. We're going to we'll reselect that. Yeah, that's it. You don't need much because unless you have a video ad, if you have a video ad, then yes, click stories and reels. But because it's uh, going to be a picture, there's no need to put your money into this because don't put your money to stories and reels because uh, it's not a good place to show a picture in our in our it's just a waste of money again in our testing and that's it just select these these um stops right here instagram no, don't worry about that you just, don't worry about that either because you don't need to have as many placements because it, you don't want your ad budget going to places that won't work even though this reach says 553 1.6k uh reach and zero leads estimated this is not always the case don't listen to facebook they can't they don't really know themselves either but what i was gonna do is we can do this just click duplicate if you want to test out women and men all you do is just original campaign just click duplicate and what let's do is just duplicate an ad an ad level and another ad set of the, the original one you just did or we can call this men and just all you gotta do is change it basically to men so basically what does it do facebook will split the money or you can do it yourself put uh, 10 here or 15 here and just split it in half to each uh, ad each ad, basically each ad set, and they basically in the week and two weeks, then you're gonna see how the ads run. They're gonna show it to do two different, basically two different genders, or and you're you're gonna see the data that comes from it, and you're basically gonna make the decision whether to, to keep both or to just run one. You you do the you get the same thing if you just do all on one ad set, 
But then you have to kind of like go into it and really see the actual insights and data from each gen gender. And this makes it more uh, cleaner and easier to read, in my opinion. Also, you can do customize uh, copy uh, when you split it men, uh, men and women. So you can do, hey, all dudes or hey, all women. You can kind of split it and make it more personalized. And that's another tip you can, I just gave you, you can make personalized copies when you split up the basically the genders and you can do that if you have all. So basically now we're in the ad level, basically, yes, short side painting, Facebook, Instagram account, I have short side painting again. Both of my painting businesses account, this is my individual painting company, this is the account. So yes, both of them are connected. Add a name, let's say, uh, you can do a before and after photo. Doesn't matter, just name the ad to basically what the ad looks like. If it's a before and after photo, if it's like a current team working photo, like a, a picture or a video of your, your crew working on a house or inside a house or whatever, that works. Testimony videos, whatever it is, you just name the ad it. So it, it makes better organize, organize, basically, it makes it more organized to read the data because this is the only time uh, naming actually make, uh, matters a lot when it comes to reading compared to the campaign ad set. This, this will really matter. It'll make it much easier. It doesn't really matter, but it'll make it much easier. Add images, but depending on the images you have. I'm just gonna use my company logo because I don't really have pictures of my company or work for my company just yet to run ads. We're just starting off, so we don't have anything at the moment. But yes, this is basically how an ad will look. Primary text, text. You're gonna write something, depending. I do recommend for painting companies, I do it for myself, is offer a 10% discount. If you do offer 10% discount, it's pretty standard, 10 or 20. So now for the copy, it's very, fairly, very simple. What you can do is I'm just gonna copy and paste this thing over here I have, and just copy and paste it right back. Like, simple. Now is the perfect time to upgrade your house, home with the exterior paint job, why choose us? Professional, affordable, and accurate free, uh, free exterior painting quotes, just need a name, address, and email. That, or you can just take that out. Always customize it to your business. There's a, a lot of things you can use to basically write copy for you. If you guys are familiar with chat GTP, <laughs> I think we all are by now, but that does wonders. You can write a lot of good ad copies. It, it does it. It does the, the job for you. You just got to give it the right prompt. It can give you a very nice ad copy for your, basically for your ads and you have to do no thinking for it. Very simple. Now is the perfect time to upgrade your home with the exterior paint job. Why choose us? Professional, affordable, and accurate exterior painting coats. What are you waiting for? Your dream home awaits. Headline. What you can write in headline is, um, as a uh, headline, I like to use an offer. So if our client or my future self, uh, runs an ad, we like to ask them if they run a discount. So if they do a 10% or 20% discount, then all you gotta do is, is write something like this, um, get or claim, let's do claim, claim 10% discount. And basically, this is what it pops up, like I said before, right here. It says, open a messenger, claim 10% discount, send a message to your base, your company. Again, send message. Description, you don't really need a description, but if you uh, basically put one, you can just put this. What, what are you waiting for? Your dream home awaits. Just basically claim 10% discount. It's very simple. You don't really got to do too much or you can change it and get a quote. Like it depends on what you want, but keep it simple. It's also your business, your advertising, your business is basically how do you speak? So if it's get a quote or claim a 10% discount, it's just, you gotta, you're advertising your services. So even though you don't want to make this look like an ad, you have to at the same time, cause it's an ad. Cause it's not a post you want leads to come from it. So you gotta also make, make it look like an ad at the same time. So again, message template, you gotta create a quick message template. It's pretty simple. Welcome message. Hi, Daniel, we'd like to know how you can help. Please answer a few questions. So one of our, our, our representatives or team one of our one of our team members our crew whatever team member may follow with you questions um are you interested in our are you interested in a quote in a free estimate this what this does is pretty is fairly automated so it it doesn't let anybody just message you it, it has people have to go through a couple questions so it kind of filters out the non leads because Google is more higher intent and Facebook is lower quality. It is in base. It is true, but there's things you can do basically to make that not true. So it's basically asking questions. Basically, are you interested in free estimate? Yes or no. Then you go, well, what city do you live in? And they basically answer what city they live in. Or are you going to basically answer this one? Because Sydney, I don't like asking that in these type of questions, but it's just uh, basically, uh, show you what you can do. Uh, what type? A project. 
is it and we can do do exterior interior basically if you're a painting company who just does exterior or interior if you just do interior you can just click here and just put disqualification and if they click on exterior they just disqualify sorry they disqualify the lead automatically so you don't have to worry about uh, following up with them to basically make sure they just they don't even go with the rest of the process that's all so that's kind of uh good so if you do both exterior exterior and interior you just keep next question if you just do one there's one of our clients that just does ex exterior so we have this as disqualification so we don't have to waste our time uh, qualifying that lead so completion completion message it's pretty simple you don't really need a lot more questions because you want to simplify i just ask if they're interested in investment and they click exterior interior that's it then basically Go to incomplete completion message. Of course, in the questions, you can ask more questions of uh, the personal information. They say user information, phone name, address, email, phone number, if you want to go to that detail. But we'll just leave it at that. Completion message. Thanks for answering our questions. We'll contact you to let you know what happens or next, or we'll contact you uh, very shortly. We'll contact we'll contact you very shortly. Any of this will work. I said this qualification message, thank you for interest, but it does not look like, uh, or because it would be, thank you for interest, but we do not provide, let's say, exterior painting services. But of course, ad is more tailored to exterior paint jobs, so it, it will be more, you don't provide interior painting. It just depends on the ad, of course, if you're just um, advertising broad painting, both exterior and interior, you can just... You don't have to worry about the disqualification message because you won't have it. But if you're just uh, advertising ex just exterior, you just want exterior jobs, then you'll have to do one of this. Thank you for your interest, but you don't provide interior or exterior painting. Private policy, you need private policy with uh, Meta. Of course, you have to have that on a website or anything. I do have a private policy for myself, but I don't have that. So we're just going to basically get out of here because you don't. we are not launching this ad. So basically, that's how you basically set up a quick basic campaign. So we started up the campaign. We basically created a campaign. Yeah, we made it a lead objective, of course, because that's what we're looking for. Leads. We didn't touch AB, split test, or advantage campaign budget. Then again, we made an asset. This is just for a woman. We clicked on Messenger because it's the easiest one to do. You don't have to do instant forms website that gets more com complex. Yeah, there's a lot more setup. A quick and easy one, quick and dirty, is Messenger. It, it, it gave us these great results for our clients and soon for myself. So Messenger works perfectly fine. Uh, budget again, whatever your budget is, you want to spend 20, 30, 40, 50 a day. And mind you, if you want to run this for a month, 20 is 600, 50 is 1500. So you have to know what type of budget you have. So you have to worry about the money. Basically, you're going to make sure your books are up to date with your painting company. So you know how much you have for marketing because Facebook will give you results, but you have to have the budget to burn through a little bit at the start because the thing with Facebook, you have to wait until it optimizes. But to continue again for the audience, just do again. Your area of Canada, United States, basically your town and your service areas to make sure the radius is right based on the service you can do because it will, Facebook will basically target the ads in that radius. Don't do, don't mess around with the location. Just do one big bubble. Don't do multiple bubbles and do exclude, exclude include, whatever, because that's going to stress out Facebook. Again, you want to keep it as simple as possible. Age, 20 to 60. Again, if you want to go earlier than 28, sure. Don't, I recommend not. 20 is probably the earliest and it also depends the the market you're in if you know that 28 is not really an age when people get houses then bump it up to 30 32 or 34. if 28 is a hot market like orlando florida there is definitely 28 year olds buying houses or buying places that need to get painted so 28. also i have personal family members who are buying a house at 23 24 and the moment they get the house they will get it repainted so there's there are people at this age getting painting painting jobs but again for facebook you want to optimize your budget to the right people because you don't want to spend money to wrong people so gender, it depends if you're doing something like this, men and women split, so you can test, or you can just do all gender. It doesn't matter. It's just it's if you want to test and make this work later on. It's good to do this little men women test, but all gender is fine. That's no problem. Manual placement. Keep these manual placements. Facebook feed, Instagram feed, Instagram Explorer, Instagram Explorer Home, um, Facebook video. Feed. Just take this out because you don't have video. If this is a picture ad, if it's um video ad, like I said, keep, and then click story and reels and click um. The video feeds because then it will work it's better uh suited then again if you go to the ad level now again is this the one we no then we go down to ad level we named it before and after photo of course it's not before and after photo the photos that work are again before and after photos pictures of before project or after project pictures or videos are uh, workers currently working on a house currently painting or prepping a house that works wonders testimony videos of customers also work any of that use that as your ad creative and it will do work Primary text, keep it short and simple. You can use chat GDP or you can just do something like this. Just keep it very simple, like I said. 
Now is the perfect time to upgrade your home with the exterior paint job or whatever service paint job interior exterior. This is summertime of this day and time, July 24th. This is peak season for your basic for the painting industry. So majority of people are going to be um, advertising exterior jobs, but in two, three months time, it's going to be interior. So keep it very simple. Don't um, uh, do too much with the copy. Of course, you can extend it. Say that, oh, get 10% off basically an exterior project and the headline proves it claim to 10 percent discount this and that description what are you waiting for your dream home awaits pretty simple then again call to action keep it send a message or get quote but we'll keep it sent a message so it's more personal it's not too business or salesy again message template i quickly walked through uh basically to create a message a quick a quick message template and all that tracking this is only when you need when you have websites like website events if you're trying to do send people to a website or funnel then you need to set this all up so facebook can do its uh, job that's basically a quick and dirty. So basically what I'm going to do now, I'm going to get out of this. I'm going to go ahead and go to one of my clients ad account, this one, and show the one, not this, show uh, this one, because uh, that one, this one right here, we just launched it today. So I'm not going to, we can't really show because we just launched them. So basically this is an ad set that we're running at the moment. It's pretty, wait. What am I showing this for? Oh, no, I was going to say. All right, so this is one of my clients' um, ad manager. Of course, this has no results. Why? Because we just launched it today, so it's nothing to worry about. But so far, from the Messenger campaigns, we got 14, 7, basically 21 leads in the first two weeks of working with them. And we spent, five, oh, not five, five, three. It's more like 520. Let me actually solve this real quick because so I can show accurate. 519. We spent 519 of his money and we got him 21 leads. And these are 21 exterior leads. He's just an exterior painting company, commercial and residential. We got him 21 exterior leads. No interior, 21 exterior leads in two weeks. The cost per lead, I believe, is 25, around $25 per lead for exterior leads as well. And this was the messenger campaign. Of course, we're not going to show you exactly the other nuances that we did to get these leads, but it's just going to show you like these work. And these are the results we're getting. We're getting like the first campaign was a test. We get, we're getting 32 uh, per Facebook lead. It wasn't the best. But of course, it was just a test because Facebook had to, to optimize. Then we got to $19.95 under $20 per exterior lead. That is a fantastic result. We had 14 of those. And you can see in the metrics how you know your ad are performing well. As I want you to show his metrics is the cost per impression is under $10. If the cost per link is under $8. If the... Um, basically click through rate is over two percent of course again if all these metrics uh basically uh present well in your basic beginner or basically the ad campaign that i showed you how to quickly set up for your painting company if these are the metrics uh, metrics you're getting under 10 costs basically ten ten dollars uh cpm your ctr is over two percent and which one your cost per basically link click is under dollar then your ad is perform performing well but to let you guys know the, the issue with facebook it, it takes time to optimize so at the start it's not going to be perfect especially if your ad manager is very your ad account is very new it's going to take time to optimize but after two weeks um after two weeks facebook will understand who is your target audience it will understand who to show your ad to and understand who's the best people to show your ad because what facebook wants is you to keep spending money with them and how are you gonna keep spending money with them if they keep getting you with leads so facebook's goal is to keep is to show it to the right person because th their incentive is to, for you to keep paying them basically for the space they pay for, the space you pay for. So that's basically a quick breakdown of how this works, a quick breakdown how I set up a quick, quick, uh, done and dirty beginner basically ad campaign for Facebook, for your painting company. If you have, again, any questions, please leave down in the comments. This was very, very fairly simple, but of course, Facebook can get much, comp much, much complicated. Of course, if this basically worries you, you don't want to worry about this. Again, my, I own a marketing company called New Era Digital. We help painting companies uh, scan their, scale their marketing and production. Basically, thirty to sixty thousand dollars in new monthly revenue each month. So that's thirty to sixty thousand dollars each month in three months' time with Facebook. We use Facebook ads as the least source to do so, but we do more than just Facebook ads. But I can tell you because that's our little secret. Of course, you have to find out. So basically what you can do if you're interested if someone to handle this because you can see the results i have that's 21 um leads all you got to do is just basically go on the link in the bio or the link in the description click on the link it'll send you to a funnel 
I'm going to be very honest. It's, it's going to send you to a funnel for you to basically book in a call with my team. So basically, we can uh, basically discuss if we can help you, if we're a good fit. But it's just for us to have a quick chat. If I can tell, we can uh, help you. Of course, we're going to let you know that we can help you. And you can see the results on your screen right now with our client. This is the client, the client what, pays the, I'm not actually, never mind. I'm not going to say my client's name. That is very uh, confidential. We have it in the contract and everything. So with that, so yeah, if you're interested in someone doing this for you, because this is very complicated, so you don't want to worry about um, basically wasting your time on setting up ads and final release because you're a business owner. You want to, you want to basically scale your company. You want to build a team. You want to have the crew, company, team, whatever to scale it. So it's more streamlined as a business owner. Your goal is not supposed to work in your business. You're supposed to work on your business and get the people to work for your business. And I can do just that. My marketing company does just that. So if you want someone to get you these type of results and you don't want someone, if you don't want personally to worry about marketing and all that and following with leads, then again, check the link below or in our bio to, so you can book a call with my team. But other than that, this was a quick breakdown of how to set up a quick campaign for your opinion company. This will do it will do the work. It won't be the best because there is a lot of things you can do differently, and that's what we do. But other than that, uh, just thank you for getting to this far, and we're going to wrap it up real soon. So with that, I just showed you how to basically set up a complete beginner, basically fast, Facebook, Facebook, Facebook ad campaign for your penny business. It's very simplified. It's not very complex. Don't make it complex. Facebook is a very complex uh, marketing tool, but that's for every other industry. Painting, you keep it simple. And it'll be, one, it's going to be much easier to even get it up running, understand what's going on, and just get results. If you try to add more complexity when it comes to the age, targeting, location, you're going to stress out Facebook, and Facebook will send it to the wrong person. It'll be showing it the people to the wrong, it'll be, it'll be showing your ad to the wrong people, and that's what you not want. Because it's not like Google. Google, you only pay when someone clicks, and that's a very good benefit. Facebook, it just shows your ad across its platforms. So if you don't set it up right and kind of set up the targeting right and Facebook doesn't optimize the right way, you're going to be wasting a lot of money until Facebook finally gets it right. Because Facebook, what Facebook does compared to Google, Facebook takes a while to get results. Google gets results faster because you you target based on the keywords to basically get uh, people interested. Click on the funnel website, whatever it is on Google ad campaign to capture the lead. Facebook, it takes a while because it has to optimize. It has to realize which ad you set up will, will work the best and where would it be shown to what type of people because it's all algorithm. It's all basically on Facebook's algorithm. So it's going to take a while or or you can hit it right after the week. There's times where we hit it right in the head and we got great results in the first week for our clients, but sometimes it takes a week or two weeks to finally get results because Facebook does take time to pick up steam. But once Facebook picks up steams and knows who to target, you're going to get leads very efficiently and a very great cost per lead as well. That's it. So with that, that basically wraps up the video. If you have any questions or comments about it, of course, I can go more in depth and make more of a detail at Facebook activate getting closer to way how we set up campaigns for our clients because again, we want to keep the secret because that's how it makes us different. But we're of course, this is more dumbed down, not dumbed down, but more beginner version. Of course, if you have any questions or comments you want to know, basically ask questions about basically how to set it up or anything about Facebook ad manager or anything, we can make a video on it. But if you do have any comments or questions, just basically put in the comment, basically put in the comment section down below. Other than that, um, thank you for watching this video. My name is Daniel Pereira and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.